God status. It's mankind's quest to be all-powerful, all-knowing, and to have the ability to create a form of snow with the same consistency, but it's warm to the touch. However, obtaining God's status isn't as it used to be in the days of yore when a mere hammer of Thor, chalice of back chews, or murdering a large amount of children would birth you to godhood. Except the latest of examples is, for some reason, easier than ever to do so, maybe there are little demigods just running around, but today is much different for God Statlana comes from money, capitalism, typing T Jedi wannabe on while playing, and by bripping past the sound barrier in your sweet ass dirt bike, in the holy words of Father Sonic T Hedgehog, chili dogs are scrom nom nami, but you gotta go fast to be gosh dang godly. My name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly Speaking Sentai. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I'm amped as fuck like that energy drink Mountain Dew. And guess what today? You we remember had, that? What? Yeah, guys. What? It, amp is still a thing. You remember? Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. All right, cool. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, are you doing the member? Please let me. Uh, wait, okay, guys. There's going to be five <laughs> okay, minutes no. of bloopers at the no. end of this episode. No, I'm sorry. Because, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, nope. <laughs> Why do I have to make the motion of a no. dog humping? No one Ooh. can see you. Yeah, I know. You two can guest in the Unfortunately. Nicole. Okay, but uh, remember, we got to get... Remember? Oh, today on Car remember, Ranger. Yep. We... <laughs> what, what is this doing? What is this doing of me? You said... You said... Remember, be goofy. Yeah, guys. Uh, but today on um, Car Ranger, not mostly speaking <laughs> Sentai, on mostly speaking Sentai, we learned that our guest brings out the goofiness of us. But, <laughs> ooh, it's not safe to play in the middle of the streets unless you're Edward Cullen, man. That dude can squash cars. What? And save pretty ladies. Our <laughs> guest, I guess, has never seen Twilight. I saw it riff tracked, ah. baby. But oh my guest, my beautiful Nicole, how was your week? Hey, it's good. <laughs> Yo, fucking Fonz of the week. <laughs> <laughs> how was your week? Good. You can just say like you don't have to be weird. <laughs> like I have. Okay, I have like a bit that I want to do. Yes. That. Okay, guys. Nicole what? told me, hey, to introduce this bit, just tell me. How was your week? No, and I, I said literally... do it during like where we normally would do that. That's where I would want to do the bit. I'm yes, just telling just... you like that would be the a good spot for it. Yeah, and I just did it. Yo, and you a... just did it in a weird way. Hey guys, my <laughs> beautiful guest, I mean Nicole, she's the host, baby. Host of my heart. How was your week? <laughs> 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 it was good. Uh, Jesus okay. Christ! What do you mean bits. Jesus Christ? I'm getting into it. Okay. You don't even wait a minute. I'm not just gonna like. I have waited oh a minute. Oh my God! Oh Jeepers Creepers! I'm angry now. Oh, it's that spooky month. Jeepers, Jeepers creepers, creepers getting in your skeevies. That didn't. So you rhyme. don't even want me to segue. You just want me to go right into the bit. Nicole, no segue. My beautiful queen of a gal, the. <laughs> The heiress to my love. What? <laughs> How was your week? Eat a dick. It was good. I have a story slash bit to tell. Okay. If you're okay with that. I'm fantastic if you let me with do it. it. Instead of waiting like two seconds and then being like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Here, James, can I try it one time? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, this is Sean Marciniak. Uh, mm -hmm. I will be performing the role of James today. <laughs> you got to start making like little hump motions, I, though. No. <laughs> let, let me let me interpret the character as I choose. <laughs> uh, my name is James. I am currently humping the air. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am joined. Arf, arf. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> fuck. I I am joined uh, by my by my host uh, Nicole. Uh, N Nicole, how was your week? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <My week. laughs> 
it's, it's a good week, guys. <laughs> it's a good week. Uh, at the at the store. Okay, I've never done like a character before. But these two customers came into the store and I was at the back computer and like no one knows I'm back there ever. Like 50% of the time they either just don't see me or they'll see me and they'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't know someone was back here. And I was like, hi. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was like creeper listening in on their conversation. Deeper creeper. It was like these two like older guys shopping, just talking, clearly not from Chicago and one of them so i guess it's more of a story and not a character but like i <laughs> wish you were there so that we could just start doing bits off of each other because it was so funny and it's not even that funny now but like i thought it was hilarious and now i'm like backtracking well like what were they what were they doing uh okay so they were having a conversation okay. and i couldn't quite hear what one guy said but this is this is the conversation okay the first it's gonna be you'll get it okay the one guy's like oh yeah chicago they got tons of comic book shops they got trading card stores and sex stores and then the other guy's like oh yeah let's go to the porn store I wanna, i'm trying to grow my dick out <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to grow my dick out <laughs> that's what i thought you said that's a new podcast. I think he meant I'm trying to blow my <laughs> dick out. I don't know, and I oh couldn't, I was like, I don't know what would make sense <laughs> there that he was trying to say. <laughs> oh, maybe he's trying to glow his dick out. Maybe. Yeah, his dick's about to go through a serious character arc. Yeah. And, like, learn something. Uh-huh. Right, <laughs> right, a, right, right, right. Be, like, be a better dick. As a dick. person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his his, his no. dick is essentially Luke from Gilmore Girls. Like, it starts rough, but, like, yeah. as the series goes on, like... You know, Luke becomes a real sweetheart. We, yeah. see, we, see, we see that a soft sweetie. underbelly. After, after Jess is like, oh, God, is like right. you're not going to get anywhere if you just, if you just there, you got to do something <laughs> about it. Because I know, because I date one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Are you Team Jess, Team Dean, or Team Logan? Oh, okay. Dean was, Dean and Dean's fuckboy status by the end of the series was a bummer. Cause yeah. they totally wrote him off. They told like he was really fun and like got the bits. And then like by the time him and Rory, uh, spoilers, spoiled each other, waka waka. Uh, <laughs> Wait, they they I mean, consummated the show is, like fucking old. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, it's still go find it. Yeah, they consummated. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, what about Team the boyfriend that no one knows the name of uh, in, in the, the ten year? Yeah, I did not watch. The, the I never watched later. the Netflix ones, which is like. Super bad. I watched the entire original run and I didn't catch the Netflix, but mm. I heard like it was okay. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got I got nothing to do today. But yeah, uh, Team Jess. But like I got respect for Logan. What? I got respect for Logan. Jess yeah. is the one got that got hit with a goose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm Team Dean. Then what? He's. I have only seen the first season. Oh, and- you know what? Fair. First season, Team Dean. Hell yes. Yeah. But and I've seen yeah. bits and pieces of every single season. Okay. Team Dean. They take a couple losses. It's okay. It's rough. It's I rough. know he was kind of like end up cheating ish on a wife that he had. Not even really ish. Okay. What do you just mean straight ish? up. Yeah. Straight up. I haven't. I was just seeing okay. bits and pieces. I haven't seen. I only saw the build up. I didn't uh-huh. see the climax. Okay. He's straight up become the no I'm totally gonna leave her for you I okay. love you like it's a it's a real bummer Rory deserves better than that absolutely goddamn lootly she's a queen have you ever seen the film titled Sin City yes I was shocked when Alexis Bledel aka Rory shows up in Sin City oh I don't remember it's weird seeing Gilmore yeah. Girls like actors in other settings Ooh, except you for check out parenthood what's her first name McCarthy oh, oh Melissa yeah, McCarthy yeah. she's yeah. great I'm so glad I'm so glad she blew up the way yeah. she did. Yeah, she was fun as hell. Yeah. Fucking, yo. Man, she grew up a screw up, got introduced to the chef game, okay. and freaking blew up. Uh-huh. That's a big year lyrics minus yeah. the chef game, except he's cooking up that crack, I think. Yeah, he did 10 <laughs> crack commandments. <laughs> it's so innocent that you, that it's, I think. Guys, I don't know about Biggie. <laughs> I think he might Allegedly, be Allegedly, guys. I never saw him deal the crack. He might have just been slaying okay, that we can, dope. We can move on to Greenbacks. the next. Hey, thing. guys. <laughs> oh, welcome in our guest, Sean Marciniak. Hey, what's up? Guys? Fantastic stand up. He what's may up? or oh. may not be trying to grow his dick out. <laughs> 
By the way, I should have said something over the internet and not on the podcast. I actually have not done stand up for it's going to be a year in November. Oh no, what have you that you've been doing improv? I've been doing improv all over okay. the city, yeah. A fantastic yep. improv comedian. What do you like better? <laughs> Yo, true story, it's weird. I th- like, like, or is it just like two completely different things? They're very it's hard different to compare. things. Well, I mean, I've, I've not, I've seen Sean do both, and yeah. when he's doing stand up, it's all crowd work. It's improv, guys. You have never seen me do stand up. <laughs> yeah, it was like at first I was like, when, and then I was like, yeah. oh yeah, it's James. <laughs> well, no, well, the, well, the crazy thing is, I think, I, to answer the question, what do I prefer? It's, it's, it, 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 improv is different, and it's been mm-hmm. working out a different part of me. Like my stand up was the opposite. I was very much like there a lot of comedic comedians will tell you just like write the bullet points and talk your way through and keep it organic. Um, but I was a lot of one liners and I would like it would be like structure like that's what really got me off in stand up was like structuring the bit and making Well it got you off as in like, oh I'm I'm freaking out off or like got you off like, like you this sexually. James. This is what makes me laugh. No, no I for no, real needed there. to know like I did not yeah, yeah. know which one he meant. The la- you really the thought he was jerking off on stage. I know I mean like get you off, not like se- Yeah. Well, like, no, no, I get it. It's like, uh, he's it, like, oh, this joke is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's Gigi Allen style. We got to do that at the shithole. <laughs> no, but, but like, there's, I, I, I did mean it in the second way, the way wrestlers use the term pop, the audience, the audience really popped for that move, which means they got excited, mm. but like comes from just popping a nut. Like that's where it comes from. So like, yeah, what got, what got me off, like got me excited and like wanted to do the jokes was writing, being really efficient with the wordplay and like hammering down this joke into as few words as possible. Mm -hmm. But like it it got, I think one of my, eventually got me to a point where I was so involved with the wording that I wasn't being any version of myself, which is a kind of a bummer when you're a a performer or an artist. So you're feeling Mm -hmm. like a, like peanut or jalapeno on a stick instead of Jeff Dunham. Man, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> Seconded. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, but but like in a way, yeah, I I I, I felt like I was putting on. There, there was a weird veneer of performance that wasn't just being yourself, which is weird because sometime around college or like maybe like right before, uh, so I dug stand up from the third grade. I was like, I'm gonna be a comedian. I'm gonna be a stand up comedian from the third grade, right? Uh, it's a big part of my life for a very long time. And like somewhere around like college or high school, so I've been doing it for a little bit, um, I, I kind of, I was hanging out with a bunch of friends. And what, what we used to do, I think from like eighth grade right through like 12th grade, some years in college, we would get together uh, every other week and have a, pretty much adult sleepovers. Not dirty. I'm looking I, right I, at James. No, I know what, okay, what an adult sleepover is. Yeah. Frank and I have them all the time. They're very fun. Uh, no orgies, Nicole. <laughs> but we would, but we like we'd play video games and like before Game Grumps and and we we knew what Let's Plays were. Yeah. Like, one of our favorite things would be stay up to the point of delirium. You know, where you're just like uh, tired and everything's kind of funny, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then make our friend Jacob play something like Elmo's Number Adventure mm-hmm. and just like laugh at that. So it was one of those nights where we're just laughing at our friend Jacob yelling at Pikachu during Hey You Pikachu. Just fuck you, Pikachu. That's how. Yeah. And it's like it's not a greatly worded joke. It's not a very high concept premise. It's not like you know, it's not like a Monty Python sketch where you're like, where did that even come from? It's just you being yourself, and it was the funniest I've ever felt or la- the hardest I've ever laughed. And I spent years struggling with. I'm spending all this time trying to craft this perfect joke, trying to m- manipulate this perfect situation. When like the hardest I've ever laughed was just being comfortable with friends. And I think that's one of the reasons, and I, and I still love stand up, and I still respect mm-hmm. that craft, and I still, I still pop on a well structured bit. But I, but improv is more like organic. Yeah, it's just like I strip it away. It's just it's it's just people being themselves. Yeah, and like tr- so in the moment that you don't have time to make it perfect, just make it real. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it's really good, yeah. Let's get you doing some crowd work, baby. I, yo, the weird thing is, even while I knew that, but I was still like writing, I hated crowd work. Oh man, it's the best. It makes me so uncomfortable. This is also coming from someone when he does perform live, he pre-records his stage banter. Hell yeah. I just like make up, bi- like I record skits, bits. Yes. Well, okay, hell yeah. So like a few years ago I did at Yardapalooza, 
it's since I'm doing it by myself and when I write, I don't write for it to be performed. I write it to be recorded. And when you record, mm-hmm. you can punch in. Yeah. So like I do four bars without breathing and then I punch in, do another four bars without breathing. Work. So there's no places to breathe. I'm very like high powered and just hardcore hip hop. Hell yeah. So I will need times to just take a breather, but I don't want to just stand there doing nothing. Mm-hmm. So or when I need a drink. Like I had it set up where I, it was in a robot voice and it was like this huge <laughs> epic thing of like the years 3000 something yeah. and the world's different besides like all traditions have been wiped. There's no Santa Claus. He's just a robot who likes to fuck over people yes. and all these things except Yardapalooza. <laughs> and then it was like me doing my Yardapalooza skit and then like interspliced. I want it was very ambitious. I almost did a choose your own adventure. Mm-hmm. And like I would ask the crowd, which do you choose? And based off from that, I would read this selection and it would lead into which a different would song. Not have went well. Yeah, I don't it wouldn't have like it, by the time James performed, everyone was shit faced. Yeah. Yeah. One that first year that, that was the best performance well, ever. That was before. So I it, there was, I was this, also shit faced. Uh there was this year that yeah. we there's a serial killer in our hometown he's like oh, no. uh, jeffrey willis that's his name oh, and did you catch him uh, no i did not oh, okay. but people i mean he's been caught okay uh cool. hey jeffrey willis but i i you know i was gonna call him out nah dude never mind so he <laughs> edit it out cut please it out please edit that out no I'll, it's spooky season he's coming for me oh no he's in jail Yo, man, what if I go to jail? I, I, I He's in Muskegon. It's, uh, this is not our hometown, remember. Dude, I, like, fucking steal mail in Muskegon. Uh-oh. Please edit oh, that shit. out. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so. <laughs> Gonna find my Sports Illustrated that are not mine. I interspliced news reports of his, uh, mm-hmm. of him. Yeah. So expecting, like, people to, like, be shocked by it and maybe get on the news. Of course that didn't happen, but <laughs> it was so late in the show, everyone was shit-faced and I don't perform yeah. with glasses on. Yeah, maybe, and, me too, yeah. I and feel it that. sucks because all of a sudden, like, I see this, like, like blur that, like, it goes from not being a blur mm-hmm. of white to being a blur of I'm white. I'm sorry, it sucks. <laughs> No, because like, yeah. I, no, what I, okay, okay. hold on. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, because this is, I am someone who doesn't like think his music is good and mm-hmm. I get off the stage yeah. and everyone is like, did you see that person who flashed you? I was like, I didn't because I had my, I would have said the same thing if like someone was like surfing in the crowd, I would have been like, I, do, I did not see that. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. So Someone flashed me. Dude. Well, performing. Damn. Just think if you were on improv, just doing like a zip, zap, za, and someone friggin' <laughs> flashed you. The closest. We're doing zip, zap, zap as a show. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst improv show I've ever heard. Yeah, guys. Or we'll do it right now. The closest oh, I've ever got. That our yeah. our shows end with an improv for oh, Car Ranger. No. So, Are oh, this is gonna be get fucking to the great. Episode? Yeah, I've... we will. This uh, the last Yo, thing. This I got seriously two, is oh, gonna okay, be two, two hours quick long. Things. The first time I, I remember the first time I started like transitioning from stand up to improv, we were on a buddy of ours podcast back in Buffalo, uh, Jimmy Pidd. Shout out to the Pidcast. Um, I hope he's still alive. <laughs> he, okay. dis- he disappeared a little bit. I think he's in Florida right now. He's awesome. Um, but I remember like, so we got up, we got high a bunch and I'm thinking like, oh, we're just going to talk about this show. Me and my buddy, Marissa, shout out to Marissa that we were producing. And like, we're just going to kind of promote it. So I hit, I, I've been hitting of the bong. And then like at the end, Jimmy's just like, all right, so let's, let's do some scenes. Let's see some scenes. <laughs> and me and Marissa are the only two improvisers. Everyone else is a, is a stand-up friend, but like really are not improvisers necessarily. Mm-hmm. And I just remember like turning just like, yeah, we can, I, I do not do, I don't, I don't do high well and I do high improv probably worse. <laughs> so I feel like it was just a lot of just like, well, here we are in this, like Marissa just like, oh, well, here, we, I guess here we are on this spaceship. I got two tickets to Sheridice. We're going to the <laughs> Share Show in space. Like just bad. Oh, oh man. My gosh. Um, man, you high as hell, and that's classic improv. Uh, do you do you agree with this statement? Just all of your improv is is Share centric. Yeah. Hey, that's great. <laughs> I'm trying to open for Share. You are cornering the boomer market right yes, now. Yes, finally. Get fucking That's the who's crowd line you want. Yo, I'm just all those Whose Line Is It Anyway fans. Get them out of here. Whose Line, not the fans. Do you agree with this? Yes. That yes, I do. You could... Okay, never mind. No, what is uh, it? That 
you could take a punk rock name and an improv team name and switch them. Any improv name could also be a punk rock band's name. I would, I would, I usually say ska or like, it's weird. Like not a hard, like I couldn't see, I couldn't see an improv team named like Black Flag. I think you could. Black Flag. You know what? Upright Citizens Brigade could also be be a a punk punk name. name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Upright Citizens Brigade would be dope. What about Pissed Jeans? Pissed Is Jeans a, would be very good. Uh, yeah, that's both. That's I don't know which one, one. Oh, okay. you're, you're talking about. Uh, Is that an improv? It's a punk band. Okay. That's a really good improv team name. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Um, Stiff Little Fingers. Stiff Little Fingers would be a fun improv team name. Oh, I see these things. I don't know if you're uh, saying a punk name or... <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, X-Ray Specs. X-Ray Specs could be both. Like, I don't yeah. know which is which. Is uh, that yours? No, that's a no, that's a band I fucking Isn't, love. Aren't you Grindhouse? I am Grindhouse. Yeah, that could also be a punk band yeah. name. I mean, that's more of a sludge metal name, probably. No, it could also be punk. It could be punk. It's also a coffee shop name. Yeah, guys. <laughs> shut up. Listen, shut up. There's like five different coffee shops named Grindhouse. <laughs> like, and six more back in Buffalo. They edit this out. It's not. Oh, I. It's edited. It's on the cutting room floor. Dude, if musky. Ooh, that's what I used to call my bathroom. The cutting room floor. Uh, I guess I should have said the floor of my bathroom is called the cutting room floor. You guys get it. But I I got a quick little thing. Isn't it crazy that people, like most people out there, I had this in my my head because. Nicole said to a T and then I said to a teat and that just popped in my head. Like it's weird that most people have like mouthed their mom's bosom. Man, why are we here? How, it's weird. Why are we here? But guys, right, you know, like, yeah, dude, you know how much I have to think about like, oh man, I technically like head fucked my mom. <laughs> That's, I deal with that every day. Ooh, well, you know, like women can mouth it's fuck such a man. A, like with taboo. I feel like that like some pregnancies where they're like, I'm gonna have an orgasm. Yeah. <laughs> I just like Why does she I, have to be I, that's such a thing in like yeah. in sitcoms that they bring up. Yeah. I've never yeah. what sitcom is this? I don't know. Like that I'm gonna have an orgasm while I have a baby? Yeah, yeah. That, that happens. I feel like I've never seen this in a sitcom though. I've, I have. Maybe oh, it was word. playing house. Maybe. Oh, you know I what? Know. Playing with uh uh uh. Well, I can't think of it. Lennon, Lennon Parham and, and Jessica, Jessica Sinclair. Sinclair. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. God, we, we need to watch that. That's one of the best. It's TV my favorite shows. Sentai. Yeah. Uh, sentai. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah, Playing House is a Sentai, right? It yeah, could it have been on Girls. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, Girls. They were kooky crazy was. on that show. Uh, but no, it's definitely they on like a regular shit. Have you ever seen the, the pornographic film of this dude like head fucking a woman? No. Yeah, I, I don't it's, like it. It's, okay. No, it's rough. He dies at the. I think is, is is the urban legend I heard about it. No, that's he gets his head stuck up there and he and he suffocates to death. No, they could have put a tube and blown into it. I mean, yeah, but it's a. It didn't look like the greatest porn set to be on. So I like, don't, th- but it was high quality, especially like for a LimeWire download. What's going on, listeners? This is par- partially, <laughs> p- I got this. Hold on. This is partially parsing porn. Yeah. This is my new pitch. I need a podcast, bud. Like real bad. Uh, I th- you do have a podcast not coming yet, up. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 but, yes. Ooh, shh. Yeah. yeah. Also, Oosh. yeah, ho- also kind of hopefully, but I think so soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you need a space to record, I do it cheap. Hey, I might hit you up. Yeah, guys, $13 an hour. Oh, that's hella cheap. Okay. Yeah, it's minimum wage here in Chicago, Chicago City. But guys, <laughs> uh, let's get into Sentai. Mr. Marciniak. Are you sure this isn't a porn? Can it's into not. Sentai? Get- oh, I'm so sorry. I took that. I'm, oh, we do need a. It's thirty I mean, minutes, and we is need. Here, it's probably no going that direction. No, I'm going to ask you before He's always here. Yeah, yeah. before coming over. <laughs> uh, wait, what did you just say? Nothing. He's <laughs> always coming here. Okay, okay. No, that's oh. not what I said. Oh, uh, <laughs> here on partially parsing porn. Oh, dad. Oh, that you saying cat. that just like proves my point. Uh, <laughs> proves your porn. Before ah. coming over, uh, were you ever Porn's familiar with? Super Sentai or Power Rangers? Uh, Power Rangers very much. That was the big uh, 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 make-believe game uh, we'd play in our front yards uh, was Power Rangers. I think before a lot of things we ended up getting interested in, Dragon Ball Z, of course, was a big Ooh, one. Ooh, Kakarot. Oh, absolutely. Vegeta. We got to watch Dragon Ball Z, Nicole. Do we? Yeah. It's... I mean, you talk a lot of shit about we, it. We should watch past the Cell Saga, and once that's done, we can bow out. I mean, I guess you... Your main complaint about it is just that, like, 
the battle scenes are really yes. long, but we could just like skip those. Oh, absolutely. I mean. Also, like, I do recommend Dragon Ball is oh, no, so no, charming. Oh, We've we seen have, Dragon Ball. We oh, okay. own all of this, all of this season. Hilarious. And I loved Dragon Ball up until after the first world tournament when it started getting yeah. into all the techniques when like Tien showed up. Oh my God. Tien was great. Uh, but like, I yeah. don't like that stuff. Oh, you don't like Tien? Oh, okay. No, no, I like Tien. I just don't like it's like, I now have the splitting myself in half technique. Yeah. yeah it but like porn. as a kid yeah. though, like that'd be like, oh, oh shit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. liked it when it was a slice of life about a weird boy with a tail. Yeah, yeah, and it was just so it was just so fantastical and Remember very whimsy. Remember when he slapped that pussy? But that's like what? Oh, okay, <laughs> not that. <laughs> I'm saying that's what happens with a lot of like slice of life type like innocent cartoons. Is it starts out that way and then they're like, oh shit, people like this show. It's got to go on and have yeah. like an actual kind of villain yeah and then it gets darker and more serious which is what i talked about with steven universe and adventure time mm. is it just like inevitably just gets very dark which yeah it's, it's a thing i'm okay with getting dark but i you know what i don't know i was but, gonna, like yeah i yeah. am like i like dark stories but like the reason why i loved steven universe so much was mm. that it was so like innocent and lighthearted. yeah it's 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 to balance out all of the other dark shit and now it's like all so dark <laughs> it, it, well it's the cliche don't forget who brought you to the dance where like i'm okay experiment get there but like especially when you have especially with like shows i feel like it's so important to remember why we tuned in to the first place I always like think of Scrubs it was a rough example because I know one of the reasons I got real stoked on the first three seasons of Scrubs. You can talk shit about Scrubs. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. The reason I love the first three, okay. four seasons, I loved the, first... the third season is the best. Season. So good. Is that with knife wrench? Yeah, oh my you god. fucking know it, bitch. And there's such a. I, I loved watching those characters were growing so satisfyingly. Mm -hmm. I could watch them do that glow up for days and then right around the fifth fourth fifth season they didn't really let them grow up and and that was on purpose they referenced like oh yeah they, they kind of stalled out but like shit man that's i was into this comedy because you guys were arcing your characters in some really exciting and satisfying ways yeah, yeah. but then i feel like they also just switch to other characters instead of like the main three. Yeah. Well, and, and main four, they cut out Carla almost completely, which was a bummer. Like, uh, wow, I can't even remember any of their names. JD. The one that's mad all the time, they kind of like switch over to him growing. And yeah, Dr. they Cox, really, yeah. yeah, and they really grow the janitor's character a lot. Yeah, which is. And okay. in like later seasons. I remember, yeah, and then they, my he, got the relation, he got into the relationship with, uh, oh, forget her name. Oh, Lady. Lady, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think his name is Doug, the person that like in the first couple seasons just like keeps killing people. And then yes. he eventually, once he becomes like the morgue Mortician. person, yeah. yeah, like his character is just like perfect. Which is dope. I mean, he is a Neville Longbottom, but like, man, I don't want to read Neville Longbottom. <laughs> I want to read Harry Potter, you know? Yeah. And I feel like, 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 don't forget, don't forget what brought you to the dance. That's yeah. kind of, I mean, in improv, it's, they say it's like, what? Uh, 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 don't forget what you came in with. In wrestling, they say, remember the promises you make. If your character is a zombie undertaker wizard, don't go, ah, shucks. Make sure you keep the, pro whatever promise you make, you keep that promise, which is, no, no, it's how you, it's how you build fans. It's how you keep fans. And it's how you kind of, it's how you create a satisfying arc, conclusion, story is make some problems be bold make a promise or two my character does this this character does that he or she wants this thing they want this thing and that promise i'm going to make is that they are going to try to do this thing and then don't forget the promise they don't have to they don't have to actually get it but they have to try because that's the promise you make is that they want it so they're going to try well i think like the issue with Steven Universe and like Sabrina the Teenage Witch is it starts off like the whole premise is them like learning about their powers mm -hmm. but then they learn a like they learn everything there is to learn yeah. and then it's like okay well now what do we do with she this takes character? takes over the world. Yeah. yeah. 
basically. That's one of the things, uh, Grindhouse, which you mentioned, is uh, it's a narrative uh, form. We've been doing uh, monster movies, essentially. And one of the things we run into is sometimes we'll kill the monster and we still have like five minutes to go because we are playing towards our wants. But it's just at that point, hopefully you're three-dimensional and, okay, cool, I've killed the monster. What else did I want? Let's follow through this. In one of our rehearsals, it, tur- it just kind of turned into romantic comedy, which was fun as hell. Um, and mm-hmm. so like we, we keep fluid with our wants, but like, yeah, how do I, how do I create a three dimensional want that in some ways is eternal? You want to know who does this very well of like killing the monster hey, and like being able to wrap no, it up I real quick? No, I want to segue uh, is that <laughs> this episode I think has made me start to actually really enjoy Car Ranger. Yes. And that's what fun. I was going to say. Car Ranger. I did want to, yeah. I had a joke, but I couldn't fit it in because you guys were talking so smoothly back and forth. Sorry. Nicole bud. wants a Neville Longbottom book. Sean over here wants a Harry Potter book. Give me a Moaning Myrtle book. Wow. I want to see that girl in the friggin' bathroom spying on boys. Oh, I knew it was just going to be an excuse yep. for him to moan. <laughs> oh, I'm moaning. But she's crying. She isn't horny. This is, I mean, she is horny. She's hella horny. Oh, guys. Moaning oh, Myrtle, man. let us know. Speaking of character development. Let's do... Yeah, she, she's just horny nonstop. That's her <laughs> development. Nicole, you said that like it was a, like it was like a double entendre. I don't think it she was. she started out like it was Moaning Myrtle because she was sad and then she just turned horny. And started like, from so the bottom. So she was still now Moaning Mo- uh, Myrtle. Here. Thank you for explaining that joke. You're welcome. James, I will never thank you for moaning into that microphone. Ooh, too bad you ain't got headphones on, baby. I oh. hear my moans crystal come. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yo, how painful it would be if you just came crystals. Ooh. Oh, tearing up your... Yeah, but guess what? People do deference. use crystals as as dildos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you got to um, get yeah. to that yoni, guys. But let's get into today's episode summary. Well, we still have time. I told you it's going to be two hours. It cannot be two hours. <laughs> if it ends up being two hours, I will split it into two episodes. Oh, you're going to split me in half, daddy? Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, also, I'm surprised no one said like when oh, the splitting believe. in half technique, we should have... Split uh, me in half, Kakarot. Ooh, oh, senpai daddy. We gotta split this chicken half. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Jake and Amir. Okay. My favorite Jake and Amir. Today we watched episode 14, and guess what? That girl now, she's Squirrel Girl. Today, what? yeah, the one Marvel of the Marvel superhero. Yeah, she, oh, that's uh, cool. someone in Jake and Amir, uh, Mila Ch- th- th- Thurlmshrub, who is also in that Fig, uh, what's it, Paul Feig, and. Uh, Paul Feig Newton. Yeah, I know, uh, I know the and project. His, uh, the, and Paul Joel Hodge. Figaro. Guys, it doesn't matter. It's a space thing. And the dude and from- she's in it. Paul yeah, she's in it. figure it out with yeah. Summer Sanders. Ooh, oh, oh, my God. My God. Yo, don't, God. don't, don't. Uh, we Sean, cannot. you need to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. nice being here. I fucking love figure Goodbye. it out so much. Sean, you're officially our best friend. Yes, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yo, yo Melzer, Melzer can't hear that, Nicole. Oh, no. Yo, edit it out. It's a blooper. Yo, I murdered people back in uh, Minestro. What's the oh, name no. of your hometown? Muskegon. I was going to say Minestrone. Minestrone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm Muskegon. But quick thing about Figure It Out. Yes. I used to have friends come over and we would mm-hmm. play Figure It Out. Yo, us too. Yes. Yo, oh, it, 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 was, it was one of like, the most important TV shows. We would, we would play in the backyard. Oh, no, no. I'm like, saying wait. like uh, like two years ago. Oh, that's so much more recent yes. than I expected. <laughs> We would co- it's all on YouTube. Oh, word! Yeah. God, what? Wouldn't awesome. this be a fun idea? Yes. Uh, like we, <laughs> oh, we. Yes. It's pretty much a podcast, but like a video podcast where okay. we so have comedians come over, three people, and yeah. like we play along with figured out, trying to figure out. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's hella fun. Yeah. I mean, do you guys get slimed? That's part no, of no, it. we can't get slimed unless we're talking about that big old thick ass thing in your trousers. No, that's wow. what I mean. There's a, uh, there's, a, there's a greasy old man you find on the subway and he jerks off above you. <laughs> and he's, when you say the secret word, which yeah. is generally like a fetish of his. Yeah. It's just his new fet. It's this person's fetish for yeah. the week of him hearing Ooh. someone say like, someone oh, blinking. foot. I was going to say, so in a blinking, like they're blinking, but they do it like, like not simultaneously. One eye blinks and the other eye blinks. I used to try to do that as a kid to like, look like quirky and it's so, and, it, it's the one thing we're going to get to this episode. Yeah, eventually. No, no, it has, uh, we have, oh, okay, quickly say your thing. <laughs> no, it's, I, I, I just say like, I'm practicing now cause I can only wink one eye and like someday I'm going to do it and not 
look like I'm pooping my pants. I don't know. I think I, I was trying to look like Max from Sam and Max. That was a big deal in my <sighs> as a child in my rearing. But today uh, we Power watched Rangers Turbo, starring Paul. Figure it out. Uh, today we watched. Edit, edit that. Edit that uh, out. We uh, please. I got it. <laughs> yeah, oh no! But now you can interrupt. Uh, today we watched episode fourteen of Car Ranger entitled Parsley Parsing Porn. Full acceleration to hellish uh, to hellish lightning. Oh no. We can't have lightning in hell because where there's lightning, there's also rain putting out the hellish flames. If the coals being inserted in my butt aren't hot, uh-huh. that's just a fun time snack from my downstairs okay. mouth. Yep. That was re- that was real pretty for like a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Unless they mean lightning from a certain Sith Lord's fairy wand, biz, biz. Oh no, I'm a child Jedi being murdered by an authority figure I respected and How confided in. How many times in. are you going to reference child murder? <laughs> biz, biz, <laughs> my thin youthful skin is oh. boiling like a frog in hot water. Nice. Call back. Uh, still, real, <laughs> still real upset about the child murder, by the way. But we see Minoru out there hustling like a networking artist, compensating for their lack of talent. Reality check, if you build your artistry, the fans and industry shall come. Take it from me, a rapper who was once described as much better than he needs to be <laughs> by our guest. And I have many fan I'm, singular. I'm, so, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, that, that's a compliment no, in my book. It wasn't meant to be. Oh, what? Fuck you. Keep keep uh, reading. Oh, what? Was it really keep not? Keep reading. Oh, oh no. I really you just don't broke know. his heart. No, I, I, loved, I loved it. It was great. I'm a true American nightmare unsuccess story. But Minoru <laughs> isn't trying to slang free digital downloads of an album he constantly questions the quality of. It's He's, really good. Stop it. Uh, it's, uh, I well, meant it. I uh, meant it as a compliment. I just, I, I felt vulnerable. In the, hey, podcast, podcast pause. I felt vulnerable when you called me out on that, but like, yeah, it's... it's I did it as a like compliment to record. you as well. Hey, man, it makes me come crystals. Ooh, guys, wouldn't it be weird if like I pulled up my shirt and like I just started milking myself? Ooh, daddies, <laughs> no, that's not totally in the summer. Would you think it's hot if I could milk myself? I have to pee. Oh, do you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, too bad, baby. We podcasting with pee-pee in us. No! God, Remember that one time you What? Oh my god Do you want me to tell the story? No Okay <laughs> Bye bye guys Are uh, you fucking serious? <laughs> Why did you bring that up? Okay uh, guys It was not that her was choice something <laughs> to never be spoken about Ever to anyone I'll bleep out the thing that I said Oh but my I, fucking god I'm in Love with a scoobert. That's Nicole's you are nickname. You're in hot water now. Ooh, I'm a little froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Bud. Why? <laughs> but Minoru ain't slanging them free downloads. He's selling speed juice for engine tummies to make them one million times faster. That is, if my math is correct, Skin removing fast. A snail moves on an average at 0.029 miles per hour. I did, I researched. If he drank some of this, hopefully sodium free, <laughs> speed juice, he'd go 290 miles per hour. His skin, bye bye. I'm just so glad it wasn't a child this time. Oh, yeah, guys. It's, it's a it's child slug, no! though. No. <laughs> uh, where was I, though? <laughs> uh, if it's not sodium-free, though, his skin would just dissolve from the inside out. But the price tag on this dimension-shattering drink is steep. One million yen back in the 90s was about $8,600. Wait, was it drink or was it like motorcycle fuel? It was motorcycle fuel. Okay, I was like, going to say, like, because if you if you drank it, it, it would It's a juice. Yeah, okay. For for engines. Oh, uh, uh, th- engines are sentient in it, this it, show, it, I think. It was it was motorbikey drink. Yeah, right? guys. I'm hip. You can buy a person for that much money then have money left over to have said person killed. Why do you know this? Uh you guys, you got to listen to two clips as stories of a contract killer. It might be on YouTube. I don't know. Serial killing records, baby. Wait. <laughs> 
But if this, I'm assuming, highly unsustainable liquid can make one bullet so fast it can shoot through a U.S. Senate worth of kittens, 9,000 USD seems like... An all-out fucking war is about to happen, like when Gundams were created before any United Nations formed regulations for the use of wartime Gundams. And you better believe we here at Mostly Speaking Sentai have a strong, firm stance on Gundam control. It ain't needed, bitch! The libtard cook a doodle doo at the United Earth Sphere Alliance want to leave you, the people, defenseless so they have all the Gundams. They have all the control and you're left foot. Man, you keep saying things like I'm on board. I'm not, like, stop that. Ooh, baby, you on board like a baby's on board. Wee, wee. If this baby dies, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Uh-oh, this baby grew no. up. Oh, yay. He's flourishing in the freaking midnight sun. I'm so proud of you. He's going to college. Guess what? It's his graduation day. I, I, I couldn't be prouder. He gets a letter in the mail. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. It's from the loan collectors. Hey. It's too steep. Hey, it's okay, He bud. goes into the bathroom. But it's okay. He takes off have... his belt. Bud? Bud? And he freaking bud? commits to Bud, we need to get in there, bud. It wasn't a children, though. Buddy! Uh-oh. Bye-bye, buddy. Oh, God. My buddy. My, my buddy, buddy is uh, simple. Get your gun and dum 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 dum. My I don't buddy know and me. I was um, I was doing the my buddy and me. I know, but G unit. You oh, know okay. G unit? Uh, Beg for mercy. Yeah, he comes right after uh, uh, K unit, right? No, uh, G K. He comes after K. Yes. Yeah, you know he's yeah he's before K unit. Okay, oh. just kidding, JK. Oh, man, I, I just aged Ooh. my own oh, shorts. You heckin' murdering people over here. <laughs> but back to Minoru. He ain't getting any bites from the go-kart league until a familiar long-headed Bozak who, who takes the who bait. Was it? Who was it? Zelmoda Zelmoda. is looking to become a god so people will stop making fun of his stretched face because power, much like being labeled the crazy kid in high school, will make people stop making making fun of you for your flaws or that time in middle school you made out with a dude to kiss a girl which as i've said before is the most hetero thing someone can do in middle school well okay it is super hetero no it's it, it, it's something like hella common it is i mean yeah dude theater parties oh man Fucking, dude, i should have there. been hanging out with theater kids eventually i found my way to them but dude, man it, in it, middle school there there wasn't a much theater thing Theme, baby. Not in Muskegon. No, no, no. Because I stole all of your Samuel French fucking contracts, dude. I robbed mail. Edit, oh, man. Edit, edit that out. Edit, no, I'm please. not editing I anything out lie. besides that one thing I said Nicole did. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> uh, but back to he's trying to become a god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, 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 wow. But a god can only be made by breaking the speed barrier or being Connor Oberst. What did oh. Kefka do? What? Kefka ended up a god, didn't he? I don't know who Kefka is. Final Fantasy VI. Oh, Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, yeah, I I played it as a child, so I don't remember any of it. Yeah, I just... uh, And the game always messed up because we had the anthology, and for some reason it messed up, but... This was a really good segue. Yeah, I was. uh, Oh, (laughs) but just like cops in the 80s, Minoru sells his stash to Zelmoda, then tries to arrest him to keep the cash and his stash. Zelmoda, much like women in the Wild West, were too fast for a nerd virgin like Minoru. I forget like Minoru is cool at the end of this, but normally he's just a virgin-ass nerd. It's why I love him. Much like me before I met Nicole. Yo, much like me before... How'd you lose your virginity, dude? I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, man, he's a freaking virgin yo, over yo, here. Yo, I'm a freaky virgin, more like Vampires, it. Vampires, we have a neck for you to suck. It'll taste what? delicioso. Oh, no. <laughs> You're vampire bait, dude. Yo, wait, what? Yo, the, the, the serial killer from Muskegon, what was his name? Jeffrey Willis. Is he a vampire? No, no, no. Thank he played God. Magic the Gathering, though. There was a huge news Yo, report about that on. bullshit. I play Magic the Gathering. Uh, you might be a murderer, oh, is what no. they're saying. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm a murderer in those freaking comic book stores, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, if anything, that makes Magic the Gathering 
even cooler. Hell cool, <laughs> dude. You're murdering other wizards. I know that. Also, yo, straight up, like, so much satanic imagery in the early sets. Freaking dope as hell. Satanic imagery. It's yeah. what I feed off from. It's like my mother's bosom. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, satanic imagery. It's like my mother's bosom. Blood comes out of there. Yeah, guys. And fire and brimstone, but not so fast, that is. Uh, breaking the speed barrier causes lightning and thunder, and much like our roommate Cat Franklin, Minoru, and Zelmoda are scared of loud, booming grannies of God. You ever hear that Beastie Boy song, Boomin' Granny? No, well. Boomin' out. Granny, good in plannies. <laughs> Uh, you can keep going. Yeah, of course, baby. That's what this show is. We keep chugging, chugging, no, chugging, I mean, chugging. No, please do the entire tune. Oh, for us. I don't know <laughs> lyrics. It's like I saw you in the checkout line, and you got a fat behind, something like that. And just like Frank, Minoru is scared of lightning because he got struck down while fishing for little eels. But Selmoda conquers, that's how I wrote it, guys, his fears after reading a chicken noodle for the soup of the soul. I think that's what those books are about, conquering fears, and unleashes Al La Quinta. Real Al- quick, what's Little up? Eels, Little Eels would make a great punk name, but like I feel like a bad improv team name. I think li- like Little Eels or like Lil Eels. No, yeah. Little Eels would be like an indie rock band. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, but I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking like or punk, like a pop punk, like something like a Green Day or like a Sum okay, Forty One. Oh, or like a yeah. British pop punk, like a oh you fuckers wow. out there, yeah, like we're a, here to talk uh-huh. about our fucking teenage years with Little Eels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Yikes. something like this, like 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 like, like early oi punk before it got real skinhead and kind of rougher. Yeah. Man. Guys, if you see a skinhead, friggin' skin their heads even more, baby. Yo. With a friggin' sure. blade. Yo. Or like... Tice a riot. Yeah, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck Richard Spencer. Yeah, guys. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Yo, is Richard uh, Spencer a listener? Yeah. Uh, oh. No, if we had if we had some people like that, we'd tell them, we don't want your listens, baby. Hey, man. People be cool. A lightning elemental is what Ella Quinta is, who's very good at bicycle races. They blow the Mackinac fudge out of Car Ranger, but Dapu's on the case to cure Minoru's fear of lightning by making him eat an electric eel and smash down these blasphemous Bozak. In the end, I learn to conquer my fears of very sharp knives, like the one I have in my hand right now, and ghastly I, I, I specters, want, want like home. the one in my mind's eyes and guess what i must bleed its ectoplasm out with mine blade and feast upon its wraithy flesh and then eat this knife afterwards (laughs) ghost (laughs) i'm no longer afraid of ghosts or knives and now my mouth is bleeding but is it the ghost's blood car ranger so tonight you're not gonna like at 4 a.m., wake me up going, oh, oh. Uh, so <laughs> the past, <laughs> it's a ghost nightmare. I keep having these dreams. Wait, we Really? Yes, I keep having ghost dreams where it's a normal dream. Yeah. So my most recent one was it started out as like a space adventure, and then I ended up meeting Space Corgi's anime style, but he was oh. like, he was like real. I could see him, or yeah. maybe not. I think it was, you know how like in a video game, they'll just like show you a picture and he's like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. that's kind of how it was. But mm-hmm. I, okay. I was taking this as reality. Like visual novel almost. Yes. Yeah. He he yes. looked like, uh, you know, Rush from Mega Man. Yeah, the doggy. Kind of like take the armor he has and put it on a real corgi. Oh, no. So that's what this cute ass little guy looked like. Yeah. So That's my fetish. Are you serious? Oh, whoa. That's a weird fetish. Hey. That's very specific. <laughs> so we ended up, it was also a train thing. Like we were tr- going through on a train adventure as well. And we ended up getting to this planet that was just kind of a junkyard, but not like junky junkyard, like a car junkyard. How would you okay. even figure out you had that fetish? I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I'm we, sorry, I think we moved going. on. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I don't, I don't, think, we have to, I don't think we have to dig into it. I think we're okay. And pretty much, do you remember the, the Deedles? Is that what it's nope. called? Wait, what it's is, the, yeah, that sounds hella familiar. Do you mean the Paul, Beatles? No. <laughs> It's Paul. It was a Paul Walker movie, and he had like this tsunami haircut. 
The Deedles? Yeah, I think it was called The Deedles. It's something With along... Paul Walker? Yeah. I think you're right. I think that's... Aaron, no, Aaron Paul. No, not Aaron Paul. He's still alive, the correct? The Deedles. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it looks like he Deedles. has this huge, like, dew that looks like a tsunami, like a tidal wave. I, yeah. But... That was such a popular okay, haircut Picture that kind of haircut on, yeah. like... Trey Parker from South Park. He was okay. he was doing this documentary on this planet with Junkyard, and he's like, "Hey, you want to come along with us? Like up in this like this house here, pretty much this office space." Um, <laughs> hey, ups, real up. What's up? Real quick, you guys ever seen the anime called Space Dandy? We I've I've had it, and we want I want to watch it, but I haven't seen it's it. It's Very good. I can't remember if he has a swoop. Or he has a, a swoop. Pomodoro. He has uh, a swoop. Wait, no, I think it's both. I, think, I mean, a pompadour doesn't curl up this is so important uh it does uh, guys we uh, we uh, okay so like in like a swiss roll that's a pompadour yeah so we go up and they're doing this documentary and they're like there's a dimensional door in here it like goes to like ghost mm. dimensions and i was like okay cool and they open up this door and i look there's another it's we're in this kind of attic space if an attic was a one bedroom apartment we're like the the living room it's small over here and then on the like left side of it there's like this small door and it has uh, i mean a door with yeah. a small room in it the room had a PlayStation 2 playing, and it, but it was like this warp zone on the TV. It's a very so, millennial of the ring. And yes, yeah. And it was two dimensional doors. And then it's always I will either stare at a doorknob or look at a light switch and I'll scream, turn on the lights if you're here, ghost, or jiggle the knob if, if you do. And it always happens. You're like all, it will. You're very confrontational with the ghost. Yes, I, I learned from the best, Zach Bagan. <laughs> no. He's so muscular. I wish I was that beefy. And I, I have to start screaming to get out of my sleep oh, because yeah. I'm like, the ghosts are here. They're trying to get me. But a couple nights ago, mm -hmm. I had oh a gosh. dream where yeah. I went to this hotel. It's haunted. Monse this told us about it. This is definitely dissecting dreams. And <laughs> it was this the most haunted hotel ever. But some people have a fantastic time there. It's only specific people that see the ghosts. And I, they had this huge Edgar Allan Poe statue in the middle of it. Okay. And like, I go up to it and I like, all of a sudden it's eyes move to me. I'm like, no, uh -huh. no, no. Uh -huh. And like Nicole shakes me out of my sleep. And when I oh, wake man. up, yeah. it looks like superimposed. Like I can see it's like different graphics that I'm seeing on her. Like, but it's real life. Like I see everything else, yeah. but it looks like she has a severed head in one hand and a knife in the other. And I had to just like close my eyes and be like, it's not real. It's not real. And then I panicked for an hour because I'm Freaking getting to that. Pennywise over here. Well, I'm getting to that age where like, if, if like schizophrenia were to start sinking in, yeah. it would be now. So like yeah. I was panicked for an hour and a half, just listening to that 70s show in the background. Like, no, James, you're fine. This, this is okay. Uh, you're cool. Everything's good. Hey, Oh, uh, real quick, uh, James. Do you mind if I sidebar with Nicole? Yeah, what's quick? up? Okay, just 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 with Nicole. If that's okay, okay, yeah. Cool, cool, I, cool. I have headphones on, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Nicole, did you have a knife and a severed head? Like, dead ass, dude. Dead ass. Um. I want to quickly enough. sidebar. Can I quickly sidebar? Oh hell yeah, uh, Nicole. <laughs> but, but, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, James, yeah what's just up? me and you. What's up, dude? Um, yeah, yeah, before, what's up, dude? like three months ago. Yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? Um, what's up, dude? I explained dead ass on this podcast, and Nicole said, "James, why are you making up terms? That's not mm -hmm. real." And I said, "Yes, Nicole, it, it totally is. It means like dead ass serious." Yeah. And she's like, "Yeah, dead ass serious is, but people aren't just throwing out dead ass." And I, I totally schooled her on that. Uh, dope, dope, yeah. dope. Hey, can I hey, can get back to the sidebar? I, can, can we oh, sorry, yeah. sidebar oh, please, back yeah, please. I'll, I'll, to the yes, sidebar? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Headphones are still on, <laughs> but I'm my ears are so strong that, you know that little flap on your ear? I can like fold it up so it plugs my ears. Oh, that's my other fetish. <laughs> oh, I'm so hard. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, whose sidebar is this with? You two. Is that two? No. <laughs> yeah, it's you too. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Okay, real Dead quick. Actually, you know what? Real quick, I'm just gonna sidebar with the audience if that's cool with you too. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, I, got, I need to get out of here. Um, like they they both have knives, and I'm very scared. And like Man, this knife tastes so good. <laughs> like I'm still eating it. Guys, dead ass. Help. All right, yo, man, Turbo Rangers. What's up, dude? Oh no, yeah. I still <laughs> yeah, this sidebar. Oh yeah, right. So wait, so yeah, so so oh yes, sorry. Uh Nicole, sidebar. Sidebar. Sidebar, uh, yeah. Dead ass. <laughs> I had a separate head. 
dead ass. Hey, can, can I just sidebar with myself real quick? Oh, yes. I just gotta fucking jack off. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that there are listeners like, who just like had to take out their headphones like, oh, you just sidebar with himself? Okay, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so we uh, fuck guys. We might not be talking about. Let's go. No, through, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go through some. Uh, focused sorry to notes. anyone that wanted <laughs> us to talk about Sentai. I mean, yo, but yo, okay. So this is my first time with this one until like I saw the Power Rangers outfit. And I'm like, oh, I grew up with Turbo. So like, yeah. I was so I was familiar with that. But yo, I just want. Can we talk about Minoru? Yeah, I want to talk about Minoru for days this was a very minimum heavy episode this was all yeah. about it was i'm the coward then i'm going then now i am strong and i i felt so seen by minimum's character uh hey man i don't know if you know this about me i'm a coward you're uh, afraid of lightning i'm afraid of everything okay like truly truly just hold on hold on yeah. hold on Pick Where'd a boo. Go? Ah! <laughs> ah! God I, fucking damn it. I also lacked object permanence, so fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, but no, it's something. The, the thing I wrote down. Oh, wait, yeah. what about this? What about this? Where's your thumb? Why is your thumb? Wait, yeah, that's your yeah, thumb. Yeah, this is my thumb. Why are, I'm just showing yeah, you your my thumb. Why are you oh, holding? No. Where's your thumb? Why is your thumb not on your hand? Why is your thumb? Why is your thumb? Why is your thumb not on your hand? <laughs> Guys, I just pull. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Yeah, there's <gasps> your thumb. Ah! Ah! I pulled my thumb off in front of Sean. That's really cool in an audio-based format. <laughs> <laughs> That's his other fetish. It is. But he's also very terrified at no, the being, same time. Being scared is being scared is a real fetish, actually. That's not even a yeah, joke. Yeah, you ever uh, hold on. Ew. Pulled a hair out of your mouth? Fucking It was a fuss. Sick oh, buck. Okay. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, uh I'm sick. Fuck. Like when you when you see horror movies, it, it kind of turns you on a little bit. Like afterwards, sure, of yeah. like, oh, a big strong man's a here to help me, or, a, or a, a tiny legged pale woman's here to save me. Man, I want to disagree with you just because you say it in the grossest way possible. <laughs> hey guys, that's my that's my brand. <laughs> While he was stroking his face. <laughs> ooh, no, I'm like ooh, like I'm Betty booping it, you know? Right, 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 right. right. Betty booping it. Yeah, guys. Mm. Uh, yo, but but like it. I mean, your adrenaline is hella up. It makes total sense. Like, oh right, I'm what, like, is that it's that adrenaline energy and you're just kind of like ready to do anything, including. Uh, gun to, guys, gun to my ass. face. I'm gonna start masturbating. <laughs> it sounded like you said Gundam my face. Yeah, That's guys. What I thought, dude. Yo, guys, Gundam gun, my face. Come my, to my face. <laughs> gun, I'm gonna to masturbate. My face. Gun to my teeth. <laughs> no, they're beautiful. <laughs> guys, please don't shoot Nicole's teeth. Uh, Why? Because I see some TDs tonight that should be having my baby. <laughs> baby. What? What's that? I know I've heard this. It's Biggie. Oh yeah, <laughs> but he doesn't say titties. That was, I, it, that was that, it. Was my parody? Okay, okay. Sorry. What does what does he say? Because uh, I see some ladies tonight. Okay, that should be because we don't. You know what? This was really cool to dig into. Let's mm -hmm. never touch it yeah, again, guys. Guys, so Minoru, yeah, Minoru, or he's, whatnot. Okay, so fuck Friends as a TV show, as an institution, as a as a record label. Uh huh. But like Minoru is like a really likable Ross. And I love, I love Minoru. It made, the reason, okay, so like, I, I mean, any version of Ross that isn't that Ross is probably better. Yes, very true. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm sitting there like, by the end I'm watching, I'm like, I get why people, because people do like Friends and people do like Ross and Rachel. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I get why people like Ross. He's a weaker Minoru. I like, like that badass. show up until... They were on a break. Yeah. yeah. It's so, Up until that. Man, it's... He knows bones, And then it was though. just annoying. It's so... He's he's just creepy about it, man. Like, if it was... Like, uh, like up until then... Like, after everything afterwards, it feels like he's just, like, hanging outside their window, staying in a trash can as the rain falls, like, staring mm. at Rachel with... Uh, I, I forget who Rachel hooks up with, but, like, anyone else. Yeah. So... It's, uh, it's creepy, man. Picture this. Bones, the TV show. She's <laughs> yeah. hanging out and she's like, oh God, I just, something's weird about these the bones. The whole TV show is yeah. saying this. Yes. And you she's identified the TV show as a woman. So uh, she's like, oh, I just can't figure out these bones. They look a little fossilized. We got to call in an expert. And then Ross Geller comes in yeah. and he's like, oh man, these bones, they were on a break <laughs> from living. 
They were on a break. This is a bad bit. Also, Ross Geller is played by Jerry Seinfeld now. <laughs> hey, guys, he's a pinnacle of comedy. He knows what's funny today in real life. Hey, how he's, how children hey, think. He's in hey, touch. Hey, guys, you ever see B-movie? I haven't. <laughs> no, no, and not, I never will. No, that be a movie. It's, wow. It's real good. That be my I'm fetish. Sure it is. <laughs> you ever see B-movie hentai, though? Yo, <laughs> probably. They're yes, slamming yes, stingers. It's, I don't know if, you're, if it's a bit or not, but yes, I have. The, the human. <laughs> oh, there's a human okay. in that movie? That's, 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 yeah. that's, 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 that's the romantic plot point, is yeah. Jerry Seinfeld, a bee, is trying to be, woo a human lady. What? <laughs> Weird, that's man. so 90s, and that came out in the mid-2000s. <laughs> it's... Uh, but is he? Are other the bees, than that, he is so saw, in touch with the kids. They saw Howard the Duck and was like, <laughs> "But what if was, Howard was a bumblebee? Remember, yeah. What if he was a bumblebee, man?" It's, she fuck. pulls out that loose, tiny condom. Beverly yeah, does, tiny and she goes, condom. "She goes, <laughs> Howard." She goes, "She doesn't know him. That's the first day they met." Seinfeld. Have you oh. guys, wait, have you? Both seen Howard the Duck? <laughs> I've seen Howard. No, have you? you just said it so many fucking times. Howard, it's a gross movie, guys. <laughs> it makes you feel dirty. It's the comedy <laughs> version of kids. What's what kids? kids? Kids like chill, like actual children? No, no, no. The movie Kids. I've never heard of this movie. With it's Harmony Corinne's first movie. I've never heard of this person. <laughs> Wait, are you being for real? Who the yes. fuck is Harmony Corinne? Wait, you it's Spring Breakers, Gummo. What are these words you're using? You you don't know who None you've never. Oh, oh wait, no, I don't think he's our best friend anymore. I oh don't wait, know. no, <laughs> shit, Melzer's knocking at the door. Get out of here, Melzer. Oh, I need no. this. Uh, it's uh, the Beach Bum movie with with Matthew McConaughey. It just came out. Okay, I did not see it, but I remember seeing a lot of ads. For uh, that's it. by Harmony Corinne. He put out. It's him and uh, Larry Clark. Larry Clark is his name, I think. Hey, uh, hey, it's hey. it was this huge indie movie in the nineties. Okay. Hey, if, if 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 I lie right now and tell you this has all been a bit, can we still be friends? Yeah, I'm fucking with you, man. I knew fucking know. Of course, I knew who Harmony Corinne is. Yo, that's my dad. Whoa, that's oh. very weird. He's about kind of our age. Yo, yeah, he he he's, he's a time traveler. What can I say? My Whoa. dad's really my dad's Doc Brown, aka Harmony Corinne. Whoa, and yo, man, he fucking. I almost I almost had sex with my mom, but I didn't. And you started <laughs> fading away. That's why I did not have sex with my mom. Okay, guys, let's each do one note. <laughs> <laughs> and each one will take about 20 minutes. So so I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so I love the joke where where Signal Man says, "Don't worry, I'm here. I have a traffic safety charm and an anti-thunder charm." Yeah. And then immediately gets zapped and he's like, ah, "That didn't work." The goggles, they do nothing. Also, so before we started watching this, I told Sean, I said, hey, this is a comedy series. And you were like, oh, I'm afraid then this will not be funny well, at no, all. Because the way you worded it was, this is supposed to be funny. Oh. The second someone says, yo, this is supposed to be funny. That's a, that's a free improv show. Get out of there. Get out of there. I just because... A lot of reviews for this are yeah. people not understanding it's supposed to be funny and they just think it's cheesy and dumb. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. yeah this was very fun. This yeah. was, it's fun. I don't know. Fun, like, che like really great cheesy. It's whimsical and it's fun. It's fantasy. And it's, it's a little bit of suspension of disbelief, but it's the stuff that you know, keeps you young. It's and you loved the fact that they're best buds. That's okay. That is hell of my note. Yes. Are we here now? Yes. Let me sure, check these names yeah. again. It was, because what was it? It was Zamolda and Dynamo. Gynamo. Gynamo, yes, yes. yes. So, yeah, they have this beautiful little, like, flashback sequence where they're just, is it, yeah, the Predator meme where they're both, like, doing the muscly handshake. Handshake, yeah, baby. they're just kicking ass and taking names together. It was so sweet, and, like, it immediately, I know they're the bad guys, and I don't like cheering for bad guys, but I was, like, immediately on their side. But yeah. it's I was because rooting for them. They're kind of like goofballs who yeah. uh, up they're until underdogs. now, yeah, up until yeah. now it seems like they've been they have been destroying planets. They've been blowing up planets as fireworks to appease yeah. Beauty Zonetta. The the, the 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 pretty lady yes. who doesn't wear a lot of clothing. Yes. Okay. And it seems like how they've been acting now they're just such goofballs. You're like, "Wait, were they ever like serious people?" It you know what? It's I think part of it is like 
his environment, the planet they came from, and like the world, their environment growing up was probably hella toxic. And like, yo, if you want to, if you if you want to grow up, you're gonna have to be a world destroyer. But then they come down to Earth, and we have fun things like video games and candy and pitter patter of rain. It's raining right now, so like pitter patter of rain and like like fuzzy cotton balls that you you hug and like body pillows that like when you go to sleep at night hey man maybe you're not alone maybe you pff, maybe she'll yeah, call you back sorry pretty maybe. lady De- what's dead up? ass what's up, no? fuzzy cotton balls you can hug yeah. my point is <laughs> i think they co- I, I i maybe that's part of the arc is that instead of them changing this planet this planet is changing them oh i Whoa. like that into like yeah into like into a way cuz right after that scene where we have this flashback and Gynamo is essentially like, Zamolda, you're trying to break the sound barrier. Let me help you out. And Zamolda, they do the predator handshake. And like, yeah. Preds, baby. And then Zamolda sucker punches uh, Gizmondi. That's not his name. Zamolda. Z- oh, no, wait. Zamolda uh, punches Gynamo. Gynamo. And he's like, I got to do this on my own. And they're like, in a classic, I don't know how to be vulnerable with you, my best friend. Like, that's what, like, that, mo- that, that moment he punches him. I don't, I'm afraid of being vulnerable. I need to lone wolf this. That's no, like I said. That was Nicole before she met me. <laughs> but I like the idea of the the Earth positively impacting them. Yeah. Because if you think about it, they like tried all this awesome food and stuff. Yeah. A word. Yeah. I missed that part. Oh no, yeah. that's in a previous episode. Yeah. Okay. That I hell like missed that part. An though. earlier episode. That's awesome. Well, and and because the and the end of the episode. Zamolda loses his god powers. He comes back to uh, G- 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 Gynamo and essentially just like, hey, my B, thanks for being there for me, bud. Like, like yeah. he has the biggest arc. I mean, uh, Minoru has the, uh, has the fun arc of like, oh, I, I, I conquered my fear by eating electric eels. It's, it, but it's Which very cartoonish. Which happened like while this huge fight yeah. was going on. Yeah, I, I wrote down they bad just, time for a picnic. Yeah, having this like kooky picnic while it's like they're fighting bad guys and it's, they should be helping them. If you ever ask Yogi Bear, there's never a bad time for a picnic. Oh true boo-boo, true, true boo-boo. Down the hatch, but natch. Exactly. Yeah, no, it was it, it was very fun to watch that like juxtaposition of a uh, uh, Sentai fight scene and sparks and it... Poof, 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 and then cut away to uh, the two girls and uh, what is Dupa Poopa? What was his Dapu. name? Dapu. <laughs> Dapu. Which quickly on Dapu. On, yeah. on Dapu, how old do you think he is? So Dapu is I uh, okay, Baby Yoda, aka Mac and Me. Has anyone touched on that? Yes, yeah, some yes people okay, have touched word. on Mac and Me. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he's a toddler, but like a giant toddler. Okay, we a don't know how five. old he is. We we're don't just, even know. No, we're just gauging. I'm saying, oh, he's like because he's like adult sized, but he's got such a baby face. Mm-hmm. Dapu, but yeah, so Dapu and the Dapu and the and the girls are uh, as the other two rangers are fighting monsters, are just like going through wacky, wily coyote antics to get Minoru over his fear of lightning and thunder so he can defeat this lightning thunder monster. Because they need to be a team. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just like, it kind of like solidifies how it's a parody, though. Yeah, it's very, it's yeah. super cartoonish. Like, that's a very, like, parody type thing to do. Mm-hmm. But the, I think the thing that, that really blows my mind now that we're in, back to Gaidemo and Zamolda, is so, like, they have that arc and it's very cartoonish and it's very over the top and it's not meant to be taken seriously. But, and maybe I'm reading too into this, it clears the way for those villains. I'm kind of like really touched by like how they came back together. Yeah. And I don't know if like, Mm -hmm. I don't don't think it's, I don't think it's it's probably like, like, it's probably like a one shot, like next episode, they're not going to reference how their relationship is stronger. But like, even just as a one shot, I thought that was like crazy touching. believe later on they do touch on how like great of friends they are i don't want to spoil anything for nicole but i think it's still kind of touched on they are building that yeah that's awesome that's such a cool way to write this like cartoonish show and it it comes back to uh uh, the episode with pete Did, did we leave in the part where we're talking about like writing for adults yes okay uh, I think that's a great way of doing it. We have where you have these cartoonish, over the top segments that kids and adults can kind of both get into because like it's just this is mm-hmm. ridiculous. But then have having something that actually says something like, "Hey, man, just just because you weren't allowed to have proper feelings as a, as a kid because I don't know you were growing up in, as as a boy in the '90s or you're growing up in a tough situation and like getting your belly button lightninged." Yeah, that was so weird. 
Yo, and they show the belly button lightning and it was a little more a, gruesome than I thought it was going to be. Okay, see, now that's my note is <laughs> as I was writing it, I was like, is this? And then I was like, oh, yes, it is definitely, which now in the future is going to be great to see it this way. I swear to you, maybe you'll argue against it. I swear their like obsession with belly buttons is just like a euphemism for a penis. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, especially because they're all outies. Yeah. Yo, they're yeah, all outies? That's, yeah, that's fucking great, Nicole. Yeah, yeah and little boys Holy love shit. to like whip out their penis and go, hey, it's my thing. Yeah. Well, and like in the past episode where they were like, embarrassed to have his belly button out he was embarrassed because it stank which could also like <laughs> it's, you don't want that stanky dick get his t- <laughs> let me smell <laughs> your dick and that it, that ain't cool oh, I, yeah. I didn't remember that enough of the lyrics i'm sorry you play me like a fool and that ain't cool I, it was so important to me to remember the, the smell your dick lyrics yeah because in this episode he's he, he's challenging uh zamolda is like hey lightning i ain't afraid of you man check man, out man. my dick it's you <laughs> my dick's not afraid of you either yeah <laughs> holy shit this yeah that's my you just smashed this like, wide open i was open. writing it as a, like is yeah. this a euphemism and i was like yeah this is definitely a euphemism yeah <laughs> this shit is this shit is this series like secretly deep as hell <laughs> it might be yo be, oh, so i wanted to quickly touch on like how the picnic scene was a parody remember in die ranger how uh, when someone had a fear or like was trying to conquer something on their own like when uh, Rio was had that like she was bleeding everywhere. It was so dramatic when he had that, that like those, metal thing, the, the spring yeah. suit on, and he was trying to get buffer. That's pretty much what they were parroting of like, oh, he's trying to conquer his fear on his own, and it's like, no, nah, man, just eat an electric <laughs> eel. He, he should have just ate in a big old spider. Yeah, a demon oh. fist. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that would have made Die Ranger. Better. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Die Ranger is a series we watched before, which is Word. a flawless, like Still dramatic. It's so yeah. good. Nice. But we love this one. Let me get to. I don't think. I think you guys kind of touched on my own notes. Yeah, I'm. I'm done, guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I do want to reference Signal Man, and I like. There's something I really enjoy about lawful good characters. I feel. Like, I mean, maybe we're just in an age of like the gritty reboot, and everyone wants to be Batman. Mm-hmm. But I really, there's something really. You just want him know. to be Judge Dredd. No, I like him being. Lo- I like Superman. I like him being the lawful good okay. Superman type. I've I've always been a big old Superman fan. Like there's, how he's kind of like a Boy Scout. Yeah, maybe not if they, everyone was a Boy Scout and like. But I I do I like cheering for the good guys in wrestling. I like I like a little Boy Scout sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, shouts out to Signal Man for just being a fun like the the, the, the protection bit, which is uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Signal Man's a good addition. Yeah, mm-hmm. I the fr- so I've seen this series before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the my first viewing, I fucking hated Signal Man, yeah. but now I love him. He, I, I'm oh, like, yeah. how did I ever hate him? It's uh, 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 it reminds me of Mike Guy from the Naruto series. Oh, I don't know Naruto. Oh man, hell yeah. Uh, but essentially, he's kind of an over the top. He's a little, he's a little more of a showboaty than like Signal Man, who is pure lawful i'm going to do the good thing and the right thing and mm-hmm. whoa. but it's he's still like very lawful good like yes i will hold up my moral my own moral codes and you all be better people uh and i'm not gonna force it on you but i am going to like stand up for what i believe in like it, it's a thing that always bummed me out i feel like a lot of people that like kind of get pessimistic on these like lawful good characters lose some of the, like this is the silly dumbness of just being like really into your moral code but like not in a pushy negative kind of way yeah mm-hmm. yeah like my favorite like the, my best my favorite superman stories red sun is great i don't know if you've ever read red sun it's uh communist superman he lands in russia no, yeah, but we, yeah yeah i we know want the to. synopsis yeah very good if you ever get a chance very good but like i also really like superman stories where he's just like oh i don't understand this that's what's happening okay i'm gonna do my best to protect this it is wish fulfillment but shit sometimes that just feels nice you want okay so you want to know what i love about wrestling Mm-hmm. Um, think of the, of like how they define heels and faces. Yes. If I were to tell you someone were to go to a bunch of kids and say like, hey, drugs are bad, like you shouldn't do them. Would you consider that a good person or a bad person? 
Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do that. Of just okay. saying like, hey, you know, like you shouldn't abuse drugs. Okay, like, cool. Don't I was do say, that. Can, we, can we pretend that uh, the whole just say no movement of 80s, which was really a cover up to, to, to cover up the whole crack epidemic that the goddamn Reagan started. If we can pretend that never happened. Of Just like you as an uncle, you go to someone and say like, hey, you should like, especially be- as a kid, you should not abuse drugs. Yeah. You shouldn't be drinking. You shouldn't be doing any of this. That's a good guy. That's okay. a good person. But then the WWE says CM Punk is the bad guy because he is telling everyone you shouldn't be drinking, you shouldn't be doing drugs. I think it's so funny. And CM Punk's just the best. Yeah. CM Punk CM Punk was amazing. I don't think I think I don't think they knew what to do. It that that entire storyline to me showcased Vince's age. And I'm not trying to be a WWE hater right now, but like, yeah, the Straight edge movement had been a movement for a long time. It's not really a bad movement. It's, it's it's just a straight edge punk scene, and I feel like Vince had never heard of that until CM Punk came around. He won't get a drink with me. But what am I gonna? If he won't get a drink with me, I won't get a drink with him because he's a bad boy. <laughs> and, like what? And I got into wrestling because of my friends mm-hmm. were all into it for like every, this summer. They all watched it Monday. Yeah. I think Thursday is when like NXT was on or no, I think it was ECW even back then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like it's when CM Punk's started coming to like superstar. Yeah. And I, I was spoiled because also that was the time when MVP and yeah. that like he was like the all star wrestler. And he said, I don't fight criminals. And he was like going after MVP. I forgot who it was. Oh, gosh, but God, it yeah. was so, that arrow. Like so then the, afterwards, I was like, oh, this isn't that interesting. It's so funny. A lot of, I feel like a lot of people turned off on that era because everyone's used to, everyone holds up the attitude era to such a beautiful light and there's yeah. great things. But yeah, uh, CM Punk was, was fun, a little underutilized, but him and Paul Heyman were great, very interesting storylines. Uh, Edge became a top heel. Oh, yes, yeah. Edge was That's so... what was also during that time. Oh, and yeah. Chris and, Jericho and Randy rising or- up. And Randy Orton as well. Oh, I, didn't, I I thought he was, he was just like brooding and I didn't like that. He could be overwritten sometimes, but sometimes it was just, it, it was so fun. I have to pee so bad, but I want to talk more about wrestling. Oh, no, no, let's, uh, <laughs> d- do we need to do an we improv? Podcast with pee and, uh... <laughs> Do, no, do we, we don't. Okay, we to, don't. It's fine. I'm sorry, we don't we have time for an thank, improv. We it's can just fun. thank Steve F. Yes. Thank you so much to Steve F. He donated some money helping us get new windscreens for the mics, just oh, to like yeah, help Steve them F. sound a little bit better. Because as you can see, those are two windscreens on top of a. It's a windscreen on top of a windscreen compared yeah. to this one right here. It's the the actual road windscreen. But if you want to donate, or if you want to find out more information about my other podcasts, such as This Movie's Gay, What the Hell Mouth, and Hit It and Crit It. Go over to MLMPod.com. You can also go to MLMPod.com forward slash donate to donate money and we'll give you a shout out on the show. Also, check out my rap music under Marshland Monster. Yes, yes, yay. Yeah. And why was I plugging first? We should have went to Sean first. I was going to say, first. have him plug first so then he can just go oh, that's be- to the bathroom. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Sean Marciniak. I <laughs> like to not pee my pants. So hear my plugs right quick. At Sean Marciniak on Twitter, at Sean Marciniak on Instagram. Uh, Grindhouse is playing this month. Uh, we got two shows later in October at the Other World Theater. Someday I'm going to be able to talk about this podcast I'm working on. Someday I'm going to be able to talk about a possible Let's Play program I'm working on. Unfortunately, ni- neither of those days are today. But uh, I love you. <laughs> okay, and then Nicole, while he's peeing. What's up? I'm the Nickel Bricks. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr as Darling Homebody, at Darling Homebody, whatever. Visit DarlingHomebody.com to buy cool stuff that I make or check out like the web comics that I've done or even uh, mostly Sketch and Sentai. Just go there and, and check it out. Check out this website that I spent a lot of time making and perfecting and i'm still working on it and i'm really proud of it so check it out uh am i forgetting anything well also let her know that you like her stuff by commenting or dming her if your dms are open on instagram i think so but like you're probably like posting like i don't know maybe on instagram once a week 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Uh, right now, <laughs> thank you, James. Uh, right now, <laughs> I am slowly revealing my new series of drawings, which is animals dressed up in costumes. Um, I've done it before, but I'm just like redoing it now that I've kind of found my own art style. So I wanted to redo it in that way so that they're like way cuter and. I am going to do some like cool stuff coming up. I'm planning on doing like some giveaways and uh, I'm working on maybe like a some sort of like sticker club subscription in a, like a month or two. Yeah, guys. And those party animal am, am, animals are also a part of Drawtober. I mean, so yeah. they're spooky, but yeah, cute. cute. But again, Sean, like for real, like we yeah, yeah. we love having you on the show. Yo, man, you, if you keep telling me that, I'm gonna start believing you. Oh, no, yes, believe <laughs> it. Oh man, I, this is this is this is this has been a, a pleasure. I feel blessed. Um, and if I could have one last quick aside with the audience, I'm really having such a good time, guys. Just one little quick aside with the audience. One little quick yeah. sidebar. Yeah. Thank sidebar. you so much. Sidebar. I, I, you said aside, and I was like, I don't know what that means. Sidebar. Oh, yeah. sidebar. Sidebar. I, uh, side, sidebar. Sidebar. I do. Oh my sidebar. gosh. Thank you so much. Oh uh, yeah. Just last quick sidebar. Oh, well, a so sidebar is like my normal oh. bard, but like when I want to uh. like get like really like that's... secret and sexy, oh, I go to so my fun. sidebar. Oh, that's so fun. Can I? Can, real James quick? and I yeah. will go to our sidebar. Oh. Go to yours. Oh, that's that's fun and sexy. Yeah, real yeah, quick, yeah, can I can just have this one? Thank you so much, guys. Guys. It was not meant as a compliment, okay? I he did <laughs> his. It, it was never a compliment. Please, please. No. This please. hurts my feelings. Oh, oh no, that was a sidebar. <laughs> yes, but it, it still hurts my hurts feeling. His feeling. Oh. It legit does. It makes him sad. It, even like because I don't know if you're joking or not. I don't even know how that could be viewed as like actually not a compliment. Your raps don't have to be that good. It's like, like, yeah, I, I know, but like... No, is that, how is that like, yeah. I don't know, but guys, I've been James. <laughs> I, I, I feel real bad. <laughs> sidebar, sidebar, his feelings are hurt. Sidebar, <laughs> I've been ass, James. Dead ass, James is sad. No. <laughs> oh my God. I've been James. What's up? I'm the Nickel Breaks. I love, I love James and his raps. What's your, I'd say I've been oh, Sean. Oh shit, I've been Sean. And we've been Mostly Speaking Sentai. Bye bye. I, 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 I'm sorry. I <laughs> keep kidding that well again. <laughs> Yo. A couple things. First, making snow warm to the touch. I think you mean ruining snow. No. <laughs> Second of all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Second of hold all, on. did you call Thor's hammer a mirror instead of Molnir? No, no, no. No, I'm saying it's you have to do instead of merely getting Thor's hammer, getting the chalice of back choose, which I know that is not the correct word for it. Or we should have like intro. This will be bloopers. Uh, Wackity, smackity, wait, th- if this is bloopers, what is, so everyone, no, everyone thinks I'm real cool. What is the chalice of back shoes? Oh, back shoes. I know I'm saying his name wrong. He was the- Chewbacca? The god of wine and drinking. Oh, Bacchus. Yes, back shoes, baby. Fuck you. <laughs> I, stu- I, st- I studied theater, so fuck you, I'm offended. Uh, okay. He's, are, the, he's also the god of theater. You didn't oh, answer my question. Yes. What's up? Did you call it his- no. Hammer a mirror. No. I'm saying to become godly in the days of yore, you had to merely do this thing. You had to merely do this thing. Okay. Like, all, I, all I can picture. It was so easy it. to do these things. All I can picture now is like a YouTube sketch show yeah. featuring Jake and Thor's hammer. M- Mule Amir. Amir. Oh, I man, I love Jake and Amir, man. That was a fun one. That's I think I got. I think that's how I got introduced to Ben Schwartz. Like, a, 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 oh, as same. A yes. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah. Fuck those guys. They think they're funny. Yo, I'm funny, dude. Watch. Yo, watch me fart. I'm funny. Check it out. Nicole and Hilarious. I often, <laughs> uh, like Nicole has said, chomp, chomp, bitch, <laughs> uh, which is a Jake and Amir thing. I've seen every episode of Jake and Amir many times, besides their Vimeo good. days. I haven't oh, yeah. dived into those early ones yeah. as much. I think the only thing that got me onto Vimeo was a uh, 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 Morph Bots. Yeah, yeah, Morph Bots, but let's get into the show. Okay? Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. We have okay. a purpose.
<laughs> oh, that's bloopers, baby. Bye bye. Because we that'll have be the last purpose? thing. Purpose. Nicole, your purpose is to be Whoa. beautiful. I'm kidding. Your purpose is to kick ass and chew bubble I'm gum. But guess what? At it. You're freaking all out of ass to kick. So you got to chew up some of that gum, baby. Um, um, oh, it's smacking your gums because guess what, guys? Nicole ain't got no teeth. So Obi Trice, you better believe real names, no gimmicks. He's not going to date you, Nicole. He has a song called You Gotta Good. Have Teeth. Uh, Wait, does he really? Yes, it was his lead single for uh, uh, for Cheers, his first album. Was he like so? Like he wanted like a toothy blowjob? Is that no? The, is he it? was saying like women, like you. I think it's Got saying it. he just got hit on by so many toothless I, women because he that dealt, he made a song about it. He was a drug dealer, so I'm. Right. I think oh, okay. it's like he saw many women without teeth, a lack of teeth. That's, yes. Okay. That's so a lot please sadder. let's let's get out of the bloopers. You're guys. the one that you gotta have had teeth. to go on a whole fucking thing i love early 2000s hip-hop nicole it's kind of like my identifying really, I trait tell <laughs> hey i got a story hey i got a story for bloopers you guys know what oh a gummy is a gummy yeah like a gummy ship from kingdom hearts oh i wish <laughs> no it's like a blowjob without teeth <laughs> okay. Okay. Gums. we got uh when i was in high school uh i was sober so uh to, to get to get high I, I would just do stupid things because back then we all thought we were on jackass and the why like among the worst things I did was approach a woman on a bench. She's an older woman, like sixty something. I'm like fifteen, sixteen, and it was just excuse me, ma'am. Uh, it's dared by my friends. That's not an excuse. not an excuse. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, can I get a gummy? And then she pulled out like a candy from her purse. She's like, I just have hard candy, but here you go. And it's like, oh, thanks. I said something dirty, and she didn't know what I meant. Nicole's not proud of me. No, I Nicole is. I also just have developed. Uh, I don't, not a hatred, but a bitterness towards all teens. Legit? Yo, okay. I, I heard the story I just said. I think I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the creepiest the, the thing you hear now. Like, a, I think, I think the sun was still up, but like, that's a sketchy, that's a scary situation to be like an older woman. And then like this st strapping, if I may, 15 to <laughs> 16. <laughs> don't let me finish the sentence. <laughs> yeah, because you were carrying heat. Y yes. Oh, okay. No, yeah, because. But at least it's better than today. These kids on Facebook Live are murdering old people. That's true. That was yeah. so are fucking you serious. Sad. Yeah, yeah, for oh, real. Yo. Fuck. Yeah, that was like this. That was one of the saddest, like sadder stories it's, that year. That's why in that song I have, uh, like committing suicide on Facebook Live. Like yeah. people yeah. are doing fucked up shit like that. Yeah. Can we please I mean, I'm get out sure of the they bloopers? Did that right when Facebook Live became a thing. Oh, I'm but... jacking off on Facebook Live. Check us out. Mostly speaking, Sentai. It's facebook.com forward slash MSS pod. Man, that's. You that's... Oh, God, I got to get on Pornhub <laughs> and jack off. But I need <laughs> abs to do fuck? so. Dude, okay. This is your brand. Yeah. Well, no, it'll be under Marshland Monster when oh, I'm okay. jacking off. Okay, that's a good, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's appropriate. Uh, and my music will be underneath, so people will ah, also be, so yes, yeah, yes, yes. Mul guys. Multimedia conquering. Yeah. yeah. Is, by the way, none of these are bloopers. This is the episode. No, this is, it this has. This is the podcast. Oh, is this for real, the. I don't know. I don't know. I, You're yeah. the one that edits it. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. Good it's luck, fucker. To you. you want to know what? I'll try it out. Let's, uh. <laughs> Uh, motherfucker all right let's do, yeah let's yeah is this bloopers guys it's up okay. to you you edit it'll be bloopers <laughs> it's a nice five minute blooper okay 